Hey what is going on guys, this is Tharshan and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're back with another update video on our Season 16 Rebuilding Glory campaign in Lord of the Rings Rise to War. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please do drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So as you can tell, I'm really excited and that's because our season has finally kicked off in terms of action. We are at war. Yep, it's been like, what, a day, two days since our last video? And yeah, things have changed a lot. We're now at war with not just one faction. We're at war with two enemy factions at the same time. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm going to go over to the uh, season map, show you guys just what is happening. And I'll explain everything. But yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty fast kickoff to war. And... Yeah, I mean, I guess it was to be expected considering, as you can see, we pushed uh, west and, you know, there's three big weapons there. But basically, the situation is this. Angmar and Arno are allied, okay? So we pushed west to go fight Angmar, right? So we took Etinmuz and, you know, we're going to relocate there and then push uh, more towards Angmar and, you know, fight them. However, Arno decided to run all the way up north through Eriador and... They're at this crossing right over here, as you can see. And yeah, they're they're attacking us. So it's Angmar and Arno, they're allied. And we pushed Angmar, Arno are coming to help them. And it's a 2v1 at the moment in Etinmoz, which is fine. We're doing fine, I think. We're doing great. It's kind of crazy though, because a lot of factions are still, you know, taking like their lands and stuff. And we're already at war with Red Warpens and stuff on the map. But in terms of Angmar's territory, so they own everything, right? Besides Etinmoz, which we took from them. Arno haven't actually captured everything. They still have Eren Vaughn to take, but I guess that's no longer their priority since, you know, they've pushed all the way north to try and help the, uh, Angmar out. Uh, Rowan hasn't taken anything. Gondor have kind of taken a little bit more. They've taken Dol Amrod, but they still have, like, they still, yeah, they still have some regions to capture. So they still have two regions to take. Mordor have taken all their regions. So the entirety of Mordor is captured. So now they're obviously going to be expanding outwards. Erebor have taken most of their regions. They only have, I think this is, yeah, Lake Town. They only have Lake Town to take, but they have pushed out over here by, what is this, by East Bite. Loth, we've taken most of our regions. We've just left with the Hearth. We haven't really bothered there because, you know, we've instead pushed West. And yeah, the big, the big, uh, the big Warpens. So as you can see, there is three Warpens. We are pushing, we are fighting. So in the South, we have this pin against Arnor. Uh, 333,300 participants, 108,000 deaths. Uh, solo against Bend with a couple people from Jewel also joining in. So no ring or F-kit in this fight yet. Uh, Bend has been fighting uh, alone down there in the south. Over here, however, we are, have obviously been helping out. So this is a 1.3 million participant pin, 474,000 deaths. Solo against Bend and Ring with some Jewel and some F-Kit there as well. And then the big red Warpin, 2.7 million participants, 983,000 deaths. And this is between Angmar and Loth. So this is the main Angmar Fellowship, uh, M M W. And then obviously all three Loth Fellowships are here fighting, Bend, Ring and F-Kit. So yeah, that is our season map. Uh, explosive start, we are about, what, five days in, I think? I think we're not even a weekend, and yeah, we're already uh, fighting a enemy faction, so we're fighting Angmar, and yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. Oh, wow, they literally just took troll shores. That is actually very bad because for these guys to be capturing that, that means they are gonna be relocating in and be on our front line. So yeah, that that is something we're gonna have to be very careful about. Because it's going to be two enemy factions, you know, pushing us completely. So we're going to have to see how we're able to deal with that. Over at leaderboards, though, let's go have a look at fellowship production. So in terms of fellowship production, at number one, we have Solo from Honor at 1.3 million power. At number two, we have Ben from Lothlorien at 1.2 million power. Three, we have Emoir from Angmar at 1.2 million power. Four, we have Bruh from Erebor at 1.1 million power. Five is Wawa from Mordor with 941k. Six is Ring, 920k. Uh, I'm pretty sure, wait, I don't think we have our full team. I think we kicked out like two or three people. So yeah, when we get that, we'll get like another 
60k power or whatever probably be close to a mole anyway seven is leg 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 i'm just gonna call them leg seven is leg from gondor 863,000 power eight is that second honor fellowship jewel 788k power nine is f kit 424k power and 10 is ting from gondor with 400k power so that is the fellowship production levels. Over at development level, we are definitely leading, yep. So at number one is Lothlorien, 46 levels. At number two is Arno at 40. Three is Mordo at 31. Four is Gondor at 30. Five is Angmar at 27. Six is Erobor at 27. Seven is Rohan at eight. Eight is Linden at six. And nine is Rune at five. So I don't think Rune has a single player there. In terms of contribution ranking, I am sitting at number 100 with 777 contribution, but that is going to go up very quickly because I finally got my relocation zone built and I'm going to be relocating like literally in the next 10 minutes, relocating to the front lines and yeah, going in guns blazing though. I don't actually have troops trained up, so I need to get some guardians trained, which I literally just unlocked. But yeah, I am I am ready for this fight. Um, I actually... Now let me, what am I doing here? Right, I just need some more forts. So there we go, put that into forts. And in terms of my commanders, um, I think I'm kind of under leveled for fighting. I mean, Galadriel is 37, Gimli is 35, which is all right. But the rest of the formation, Gandalf is 33 and Aragorn 2 is only 32. And I know we're probably gonna be going up against like level 40 enemy commanders. So I am a bit under leveled, but you know, we'll have, we'll just have to get by and see how we do. But yeah, this is this is this is the official kickoff to war because yeah, our first pins have appeared on the map. The first factions are fighting right now. It is Lothlorien against Angmar and Arnor. Angmar and Arnor are allies. So yeah, I guess we found out about that, and uh, hopefully we do all right. Oh yeah, that's just them capping that. Hopefully we do all right. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm I'm very I'm look, I think we're gonna do just fine. I'm very positive about this fight. I think we'll do pretty good. We have, you know, two very strong fellowships. Plus F Kit is also I think at fifty players now, which is very good because you know they may be small, but you know they got active players and you know they can work well together as a team and with us, which is brilliant. So yeah, two and a half fellowships, we're gonna do great. I am sure we will be able to hold just fine. And if not, I'm sure we'll come up with a plan to you know save ourselves. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to turn on those post notifications. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.